Hi everyone, it's Emma Marie, author of the Verbal Abuse in Relationships blog for Healthy Place, and today I'm discussing something that cropped up in a blog post that I wrote recently. The blog post was entitled Movie, uh, Hollywood Movies Romanticise Abuse Against Women. Uh, what's the harm? And in the article I talk about two prominent Hollywood romance fantasy films, um, Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey. I chose these two movies because they were the most blatant examples I could think of, um, of male behaviour that's controlling and manipulative, that's kind of disguised as romantic and tragic, but is actually just plain abusive. Um, and I know that myself and possibly a lot of other people that have been in abusive relationships might be able to relate to um, the female leads in these films to some extent. So you can read the full article on the Healthy Place blog by following the link down below or heading to um, healthyplace.com and clicking into the Verbal Abuse in Relationships blog. Um, so today in this video I want to talk about one of the things that cropped up in this article which was the isolation technique used by verbal abusers. It came up in the article because I recognised when I was doing my research that both Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey showed examples of the isolation technique in action. Christian Grey even asks Anastasia to sign a non-disclosure agreement uh, to say that she's not allowed to discuss their relationship with anybody other than him. <clears throat> Similarly, in Twilight, um, Edward Cullen becomes jealous when uh, Bella Swan spends time with her friend Jacob um, and even stops her from going to see him by damaging her car. Now, in the films, it has to be said, the these kind of controlling acts are um, balanced with kind of um, expressions of romance and they're normalised in the way that a lot of real life verbal, verbally abusive and physically abusive relationships are normalised. And therein lies the danger for me. The isolation technique is particularly dangerous because it cuts victims off from the people in their lives that care about them, such as friends and family. It also kind of cuts across their perspective on their situations. So as somebody who is in a relationship, you have the right to talk to your friends, talk to your family about any concerns you have about the nature of your relationship um, <clears throat> or your partner. The way that the films kind of uh, portray um, this sort of isolation technique is that it's what's needed for the relationship and the victims just have to go along with it. They have no say, uh, they, they can't argue with, um, with the men, uh, Christian or um, Edward, because both men have kind of controlling and violent tendencies disguised under layers of fantasy and fiction. Let me know what you think. Do you think uh, Fifty Shades of Grey and Twilight are perpetuating abuse culture or do you think it's just fantasy and we should learn to differentiate? I'd love to know your thoughts. Leave some comments down below. Head over to the blog to read the article and thank you for listening. Bye.